Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? We are delving into Microsoft in detail. Our initial report was released on our website on Monday, February 26, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest analyses. Stay tuned for crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at StockyInvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Since January 8, 2024, our system has identified Microsoft as a buy candidate with a score of 3.23. Now, let's delve into how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has shown an increase of 8.77% in value. This equates to an average daily return of 0.26% since being labeled as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase within this trend. Over the next three months, the trend suggests a possible 12.95% change, with a projected return ranging between 9.51% and 18.78%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend predicts a 41.97% change, offering a potential return between 26.52% and 48.25%. This equates to a price range of $515.63 to $604.18 in a year. In our latest Microsoft update, the headline reads, Red Day on Monday for Microsoft. The Microsoft stock price dropped by minus 0.682% on the last trading day, Monday, February 26, 2024, falling from $410.34 to $407.54. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated 1.18%, reaching a low of $407.36 and a high of $412.16. Over the last 10 days, the price has fallen in 8 of them, resulting in a decrease of minus 3.09%. The trading volume also decreased by minus 188,000 shares, totaling 16 million shares exchanged, valued at approximately $6.49 billion. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $420.82, while the lowest was $245.61. Currently, the price sits 3.16% below the 52-week high at $407.54, representing a $13.28 difference. This high of $420.82 also stands as the all-time peak for the stock. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, February 7, 2024, Oppenheimer upgraded Microsoft with an overweight grade. On Wednesday, January 31, 2024, BMO Capital rated Microsoft as outperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, January 31, 2024, RBC Capital also rated Microsoft as outperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, January 31, 2024, William Blair rated Microsoft as outperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, January 31, 2024, Barclays gave Microsoft an overweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have rated Microsoft stock as a strong buy, citing the P-E ratio and price-to-book ratio as also being categorized as strong buy. Furthermore, the return on investment for this stock has also received a notable strong buy rating from analysts. Microsoft stock shows positive buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable forecast. The current relation between the two signals also suggests a buy opportunity, with the short-term average above the long-term average. Support levels are identified at $406.45 and $400.57, with potential sell signals if these levels are breached. Negative signals have been noted recently, affecting short-term prospects. A sell signal was triggered on February 9, 2024, resulting in a 3.09% decline. Continued downward movement is expected until a new bottom pivot is established.
In addition, a sell signal has emerged from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. The recent decrease in volume alongside price decline reduces overall risk, as volume typically mirrors price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 11 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 11 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 35 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 32 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 82 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 79 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. Microsoft currently finds support from accumulated volume at $397.58. This level could present a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction may occur when the support is tested. The stock typically shows controlled movements with good liquidity, making the risk level considered very low. In the past day, the stock moved $4.79 between its high and low, representing a 1.18% change. Over the past week, the average daily volatility for the stock has been 1.36%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Microsoft, let's review some key fundamental data. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is a critical metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio is within the range typically seen in well-established businesses with predictable revenues. The upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates predict earnings of $2.84. Monitoring these figures is essential as they can significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft stands at $408.59. Waiting for this level to be breached before entering a position is advisable for non-shareholders. For current holders, this level could be suitable for swing trading. Conversely, Microsoft's initial support level is at $397.58. Should this support level hold, it may present a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider activity involves Smith Bradford L., who was involved in transactions totaling 48,003 shares or options of the company. After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 4.425, indicating a favorable trend. Overall, insiders have purchased 336,402 shares and sold 288,437 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $388.88, reflecting a decrease of 4.58%. This stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, translating to lower risk. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top observed 10 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Short-term signals and a positive trend suggest that there may be a buying opportunity for Microsoft stock. Our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued based on recent volatility and movements. Looking ahead to trading on Tuesday, February 27, we anticipate Microsoft to open at $409.02, up $1.48 from the previous close. Trading comes with a high risk of financial loss. It is crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. Your use of this information implies your acceptance of responsibility for your investment actions. This is our current view of the stock. Share your thoughts in the comments below.
What is your target for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors and have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.